In the current controversy over contaminated feedstuffs, um, you've expressed a number of opinions in contradiction with the um, government's view. The government has reassured everybody that it is perfectly safe, the dioxin levels that have been detected in pork. What are your differences with the government's view? I, I wouldn't be fundamentally different to them in the sense that uh, I think maybe they have um, made more bland statements initially and that they should have waited until in fact we uh, looked at all the, all the data and then made appropriate risk assessments based upon the data. In that, to that extent I would, I would differ with them. It may turn out by the way that the results are okay but we don't know that uh, completely at the present time. Well, I'm not afraid to disagree with the government, <laughs> and I'm sure the government wouldn't worry about me. But um, what I was saying was uh, that maybe, you know, they could have held off a bit and uh, um, waited until the scientists had done more analysis on the data. Mm -hmm. So I think that is the way science proceeds. Could you explain one of the more one or two of the more common consequences for excess amounts of PCB and dioxins in the environment well, and in? People. Well, if like if they're present in large excesses now, you know the uh, things that you can get would be you can get, um, I suppose, chloracne is the well-known one. That is, you get a, a pretty severe type of acne on your skin, and they do have possible cancer effects. You know, they they are they are classified. Dioxins are classified, by the way, as uh, as human carcinogens. Uh, WHO have classified them as that, but they had at the same time set that limit that I told you there, you know. So I suppose they would be the major things that we would be worried about in um, assessing the toxicity of uh, dioxin and dioxin-like compounds. But of course they shouldn't be there. Yeah. That's why I'd like to come back to you on that one. Why wasn't the source, which apparently was this supplier of... Uh, well, I don't know, what it was. was it animal feed? Or rather that they supplied a biscuit or bread, or stale bread or chocolatey mix, which they treated in some way. They supplied it presumably to somebody who was putting it into the feed. Now, the people who were putting it into the feed, the miller or whatever, probably didn't know this, you know. Well, didn't know it. So why wasn't there regulation? According to today's papers, the, um, they, were, they didn't have an EPA license. Do you feel the government could be more open in the results of the various tests that's carried out? So I think they could be, yes. Yeah, yeah, I think the government could be, uh, could have, their public relations should be much more positive and more forthcoming in the context that uh, with the people being better educated in the country, that, uh, you know, that they could divulge more, if that's the word to use in that case, you know. Um, you know, we're, we're, I hope we are not fools, and uh, I don't think we like bland assurances. Yes, that's what I'm getting yes, at. And I think that's what came out over the weekend. Yeah. And by the way, I don't think comparisons with uh, cigarettes have any relevance. I understand a bit the controversy is to do with the fact that because of EU regulations, traceability has been made more difficult because basically a product or a new product can be labelled as EU. Yeah. Don't necessarily specify. Yeah, well, that's certainly a problem. Okay. Yeah. In relation to, you say, imports from, say, the Far East coming into certain EU countries and because they were kept there for say a few weeks or something and, and, and treated with gravy or something yeah. that they were then labelled as a EU product. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't that is not my specialist area, but I am aware of it but has been reported on that, yes. Are there certain groups who should be more concerned about the health effects of dioxins uh, in pork or other products, for example, uh, pregnant women or lactating women? Well I suppose the general view is that uh, they should be they would be more concerned because they, if they weren't breastfeeding as an example. Dioxins are compounds that have long-term health effects, i.e. because of the fact that they're soluble in your fat, they affects they, they, they have had lives for elimination from the body for around seven years. You know, so they are long-term acting compounds in general. And like the effects I mentioned to you um, would be what you would expect, but um, with them decreasing all the time, and they're decreasing rapidly because incinerators have improved. Some countries here we don't have incinerators, well, sir, we don't have uh, domestic or uh, industrial waste incineration, as an example. But that isn't that isn't that major a source, really. I think I, I, I so I, I I wouldn't think there'd be an increase, and we do know that certain cancers have been on the increase, but some of them maybe for other reasons altogether, and better detection as well. You know? Well, Professor James Heffron, thank you very much for your yeah. time. Yeah. Okay.